The 2024 Jeep Gladiator continued on many of the successes of Jeep's radical idea of a mid-sized truck that can go anywhere, like a Jeep, while adding on a spacious bed and towing capabilities. But wait, before you go out and get the 2024 edition, you'll definitely want to hear about what Jeep might be doing next. Keep watching to learn what the car company known for producing legendary off-roading vehicles is planning to do to make the 2025 Jeep Gladiator worth waiting for, with these 10 huge reasons. Number 10. Hybrid Powertrain The Jeep Gladiator should be the next off-road vehicle from the Go Anywhere brand with a hybrid powertrain improved by a battery. The Wrangler and Grand Cherokee received the hardware for Jeep 4XE and have become two of the most popular PHEVs. The Gladiator 4XE's power plant may be the 2.0-liter turbocharged engine and an electric motor much like the one installed in the Wrangler 4XE. There aren't any specific specs on how much horsepower or torque this could produce in the longer-bodied Gladiator, but we imagine you'll see higher figures than the current 375 horsepower and 470 foot-pounds of torque we see now due to the size of the Gladiator. The electric motor should also bring some relief at the pump and at least outdo the standard six-cylinder engine the Gladiator comes with, with 19 combined miles per gallon. The capacity of the electric battery could be between 20 and 30 miles, though in the case of the Gladiator 4XE, one of the primary purposes of a hybrid powertrain is to provide more torque and better gas mileage. Either way, we look forward to seeing the Gladiator 4XE in action. Number 9. Technology Jeep has done well to pack up-to-date technology into the Gladiator, and we think that trend will continue. The 2025 Jeep Gladiator should come with a 12.3-inch touchscreen on the dashboard, which is plenty big without taking over the entire front of the vehicle. With the touchscreen comes compatibility with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is great for drivers who want seamless connectivity with their smartphones. One of the coolest parts of smartphone-based software is that you could pay Jeep Extra for a built-in navigation system, or you could just use your phone. Smart thinking! Front seat passengers also get power plugs to keep smartphones, laptops, or even small construction tools going. Power plug types include USB-C, 115-volt outlets, and two USBs. A cargo management pack is also available, which adds an inverter and a 115-volt outlet to the bed, too. All of these options make it easily possible to add an exterior light bar if you need one without rewiring or running excessive cord length. These are great for most drivers and will come in handy when you are camping out remote with your Gladiator. Number 8. Suspension You can consider Jeep to be amongst the off-road experts in the industry. Unfortunately, with the 2024 Jeep Gladiator, they might have taken the role a little too seriously as many have complained that the Gladiator performs admirably when powering its way through mud and dirt, but not as well taking a trip on paved roads. Drivers have fully expected the Gladiator to be a bit bouncy for a truck and SUV hybrid, but we know they expect little more when taking the kids to school. With that said, Jeep needs to listen to drivers and adjust the steering and suspension for the 2025 Jeep Gladiator. Since the Gladiator is a rather unique combination of rock-crawling cable with the bed of a pickup truck, Jeep could go a long way to attracting more customers who will use a Gladiator as an everyday driver, with some drive improvements and make the 2025 Jeep Gladiator totally worth waiting for. Number 7. Safety Equipment Previous years of the Jeep Gladiator don't have such safety equipment, especially considering the size of Jeep's truck and it's not so hot IIHS ratings of marginal and poor on several tests. While Jeep owners have been known to drive with the top down and the doors off, that doesn't mean they wouldn't appreciate more automatic safety equipment than the standard hill start assist and rear view camera. We hope that Jeep adds adaptive cruise control and forward collision warning to the Gladiator, at the very least, like many other brands are adding standard. These would be a huge addition for many Jeep owners and should be readily turned off when an off-road Jeep driver finds themselves in a situation where those safety alarms are needed. Number 6. Chowing Some of the suspension issues we noted are also more obvious while chowing with the 2024 Jeep Gladiator. Drivers noted that previous versions of the Gladiator felt like it was working too hard while towing and didn't have great control over a trailer while driving. 
The addition of a hybrid power drain should help the 2025 Jeep Gladiator get up to speed by using additional torque. Changes to the suspension in the new edition of the Gladiator should also give drivers more confidence that their trailers are in better control. After all, being able to tow, go off-road, and do more extreme driving like mudding and desert driving is a major selling point of the Gladiator. Number 5. Mojave X and Rubicon X The 2025 Jeep Gladiator will continue to have two of the most popular packages for rock crawling and trail running with your SUV and truck mix. The Rubicon X adds on a steel front bumper that is friendly for a winch and a steel rear bumper in addition to 12-way power adjustment leather seats, making driving off-road all day far more comfortable. In addition, you'll get 33-inch all-terrain tires, an additional smart off-road plus drive mode, skid plates, and an electronically disconnected sway bar. In other words, you'll be ready to go way off the beaten path with the 2025 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon X. The Mojave package and the Mojave X are tuned a bit different from the Rubicon, and will be sure to please folks who plan to bring their 2025 Jeep Gladiator to the desert. The Mojave offers a better ride for higher speed off-roading. You'll also get a unique transfer case with a 2.72 to 1 low range ratio, which produces the higher wheel speeds needed to dig into sand and go. Both the Mojave and Rubicon packages have factory installed Fox shocks, with the Mojave lifted by just an inch to accommodate for bottoming out across uneven desert sand. Number 4. Interior Space Amongst competitors like the Toyota Tacoma and Chevrolet Colorado in the mid-sized truck category, the 2025 Jeep Gladiator was a sneaky contender for the most spacious interior. In addition to space, last year's Gladiator offered lots of small spaces to store things, which is great for potentially off-roading, as large spaces could result in excess bouncing. We would love to see the 2025 Jeep Gladiator make it worth the wait to skip 2024 by offering the extra head and leg room that is covered in the category. Additional storage spaces are also thoroughly appreciated, as they help keep the Gladiator clean and organized while out and about. Number 3. Modular Roof Jeep is known for making it easy to take the soft cover off your roof and not even be limited by a sunroof to get some sunshine into the cabin. You'll be able to get plenty of fresh air and vitamin D with the 2025 Jeep Gladiator's removable roof. The best part of the Gladiator's ability to go topless is that it's the only member of the mid-sized family of trucks to have the feature. We just love the option to take those freedom panels off and enjoy the day. Number 2. Bed Size The 2025 Jeep Gladiator will likely have a 5-foot, 3-inch bed which makes it fit great amongst competitors in the mid-sized truck segment as a longer bed might take away some cabin space and make the wheelbase too long. We appreciate that the bed size is bigger than the Nissan Frontier or Toyota Tacoma. We feel like Jeep chose just the right bed length for the 2025 Jeep Gladiator. If you find yourself camping in your Jeep Gladiator, you could even toss an air mattress into the bed if you don't want to sleep on the ground we suggest lowering the tailgate for a little extra leg room. While the two packages do offer some small pieces of creature comfort, we hope that Jeep makes the 2025 Jeep Gladiator worth the wait by adding a little more to help out people who are driving through a hot desert, like maybe cooled leather seats too? Number 1. Pricing Jeep hasn't offered hints at 2025 Jeep Gladiator pricing, though based on previous years, we can assume that a base-level Gladiator will cost about $40,000 with the 4XE package running several thousand dollars more. This pricing range puts the Gladiator a bit above the range of the average mid-sized truck, though the Gladiator is a more flexible and honestly fun vehicle by comparison to the average Tacoma.